What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and buckle up because I'm about to say a swear word. Today we're going to talk about a fuck ton of Venom comic books. Today Marvel released their solicits for April. That means all their books that are coming out in April, you can start going to your comic stores and pre-ordering now. They give you the code, you go in, you ask your uh, comic store to either add the title or if you have the specific code, you can email it to them, you know, your store owner, whoever, and you say, hey, put this on my pull list. This is a book that I want. So not only are there two Venom comic books, two issues of Venom coming out, but there's also the first four issues of Venomized uh, and a trade paperback of the event that's about to happen starts tomorrow, Wednesday. So by the time I put this up, the, the first issue will probably be out. It's X-Men and Venom teaming up in a book, uh, I think it's called Poison X. And uh, and that's basically where the poisons are starting to, you know, enter our world. The, I guess Venom and the X-Men are traveling dimensions back towards the where, the worlds where the pe the poisons are taking over. And where we last left off in the, uh, the, the Venomverse comic book, that's where the poisons were. You had evil Spider-Man who was basically a poison, um, a, po a member of the poison family, I guess. And then Thanos, who turned out to be the ruler of them, along with Doctor Doom, who was like his like top general on Earth. So uh, I guess that's gonna you know, start playing out in the Poison X book, but that trade paperback is already coming out. Like they're trying to pump the stuff out to get all this stuff ready for the 30th anniversary of Venom in May. So if you miss the single issues for some reason over the next couple weeks because you're broke or whatever, stay tuned here. I'm going to give out each issue the digital code. So make sure you're subscribed. You have the notifications on. So that way, as soon as I put up the video, you, every Wednesday, a new issue comes out, I think, for the next like six weeks. And every week, I will give away a Venom comic book for you guys. And the first person to put the code in gets it. So make sure you're here early. Uh, but they also not only releasing that book, so if you miss the single issues, you can buy the trade paperback in April and it'll have the whole collection in one. They're also releasing Venomized, uh, which is the next series by Colin Bunn that picks up after Venomverse. And I keep pointing back here because these are the Venomverse comics. I know the lighting is a little different now, so you might not be able to see them too well. But I have like issues one through five there. I love that series. I love the artwork. Uh, so I will have links to uh, the artist, uh, Iban Coella. Uh, I will have the, the link to his Facebook page down below. And I'll try to put Colin Bunn's uh, link in there too. I think I saw him on Facebook as well. So I'll try to put their links in the description box. But follow these two talented people. Really, really awesome stuff. And I'm very much looking forward to Venomized. So we have for Venomized number one, uh, I'll just read like the solicit here. It says, the story that began in Venomverse reaches its epic conclusion with Venomized. The poisons, a species that hungers for superpowered symbiotes and their hosts, have picked their next target, the Marvel Universe itself. Their first objective, put every superhuman in a Clintar symbiote and consume them. Uh, but with Venom and the X-Men still missing after the events of Poison X, the planet and its heroes are defenseless. So it looks like uh, that kind of spoils, and we talked about this before, uh, that it, it might spoil a little bit of the ending of the Poison X series. So I'm assuming that maybe at the end of that series, Venom and the X-Men are lost somewhere in, in the universe, in the multiverse, and it's ab about them trying to get back in time to help the Marvel Universe fight against uh, these uh, poisons. So that's really cool. I'm not going to read the solicits for the other ones, uh, but uh, I'm very much looking forward to them. I'll put a link down below uh, to... Um, I think Eddie Brock on, on Facebook first showed me these early this morning. I was at work and I got the notification that Venom News went up, but he was the first one to like, tag me on Facebook about it. So I'm going to put a link to his Facebook page down below, and you can check out some of the artwork and covers. I'll have some of them up here, as you can see, but uh, I'll try to link to him. He's been posting artwork and stuff all day today, so I'll link to his channel down below. Uh, but I am reading this on Newsarama's website, so I'll put a link to this down below too in case uh, there's something that uh, that Eddie Brock didn't cover or doesn't have all the solicits written in there. But I think he did a pretty good job. So, uh, so yeah, the first four issues every week in April, they're going to drop a new issue. Um, and then also, there's actually two issues of Venom, the comic book. Uh, but before we get into that, remember I have Carnage Week coming up, so we might talk about this more on Carnage Week. But for those Carnage fans out there, it looks like the suit itself, maybe not Cletus Cassidy, but at least the Carnage suit, is going to show up in Amazing Spider-Man. Dan Slott's last run, which is called Go Down Swinging, I think it starts in issue 797, and it goes in 798, 799, and uh, 800. It's going to end on 800, I think, or 801, I can't remember. Um, but apparently this storyline is going to wrap up all of Dan Slott's run, and it's going to have Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin, who is powerless and kind of, you know, running around trying to get, you know the ability to become a goblin again and apparently everything fails so what he does is he is finds a way i guess to separate cletus cassidy from the symbiote and he and norman osborne wears the carnage symbiote and becomes red goblin 
So apparently that's going to happen. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in our Carnage Week coming up um, on fe starting February 5th. So make sure you're subscribed here so that you can see Carnage Week. And we're going to do a whole week of Carnage videos. Um, but yeah, so that's going to happen over there in Amazing Spider-Man. But then also Venom number 164 and 165 are coming out in April. It looks like this is the start of a new story called The Nativity. Uh, Nativity Part 1. Eddie Brock, together with his symbiote partner, is Venom. But just when things seem like they were going back to normal, Eddie learns a terrible truth. Apparently the symbiote has been keeping a secret from him all these years. And after years together, this is the one secret that their relationship might not bounce back from. The march to Venom's 30th anniversary starts here. So first of all, I love the name, The Nativity. It has a very biblical sense to it, which is very much in keeping with Eddie Brock. Uh, he is a, a Catholic uh, in the comic books, and he is a, a very broken person when we first uh, meet him when he becomes Venom because he's in the church praying uh, to God, asking for forgiveness because he's about to commit suicide. And he knows that's a sin in the Catholic religion. So um, The Nativity, it sounds very interesting. Uh, so I'm really curious what the symbiote could be hiding from him and uh, what we're gonna learn. And this is gonna be written by Mike Costa, who's been doing the book, monthly book, and Mark Bagley, who's uh, back on art, which I'm so excited that Bagley is doing Venom again. It feels so good seeing him draw Venom. Uh, if we can't get Todd McFarlane or Eric Larson, it's really nice to have, to have uh, Mark Bagley. So there's two issues there. I won't read the solicit for the second issue, 165. Uh, but again, I'll put a link to this article on Newsarama. Eddie Brock, I'll put down below as well. And I'll try to put Cullen Bunn and Ebon's uh, Facebook pages uh, down below too. So you guys let me know what you think of this news. I'm very excited. And also big shout out to Eddie Brock because a lot of people were wondering there's issue 161 of Venom coming up. And it looks like it said part one of the story uh, where it's Spider uh, Venom teaming up with Spider-Woman or having an encounter with Spider-Woman. And a lot of people are like, dude, it's old school Spider-Woman and she's going to meet Venom and they're going to like battle out or something. Uh, we thought it was going to be a crossover between, you know, a couple different books because we saw part one and then we go right into the Venomized stuff and the Poison X stuff. So everyone was like, what? What happens to that story? Well, Eddie Brock, being an awesome journalist himself, he actually went online to Twitter and wrote Devin Lewis. Uh, Devin Lewis is the editor of the Venom comic books, and he wrote Devin and asked him, "Hey, is there a chance that this is a you know this is a one shot story arc?" And uh, and Devin wrote back and said, "Yes, it's a one shot story. It's awesome, and it's going to have a cool secret in it that's going to reveal it about Venom as well." So big plans for Venom this year. I couldn't have picked a better year, literally, to do a show for this character. I mean, I was kind of hoping there would be some Venom stuff leading up to the movie to help out when movie news was slow, but this is insane. Like, this is more than I could have asked for. There is just a bunch of Venom stuff coming out. So he found out that that's a one-shot book. So those of you out there who are wondering that the Spider-Woman story is actually a one single issue story and that'll be in Venom 161 and that's coming out very soon. So I'll give out the digital code for that as well. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is Bleeding Cool and I'll try to find the article. I don't have it here in front of me but I'll try to find it and put a link down below. Apparently they were doing some sleuthing of their own and reading some of these solicits and, uh, and, and one of them says something about a big Venom story coming out this fall which is just insane to me. Like, I say more Venom. Like I said, an F-ton of Venom comics that we're talking about in this issue, or in this episode. Uh, but there's like, we have the Venom verse came out. Before that was Edge of Venom verse. Um, and then they did, now they're doing uh, Poison X, crossover with the X-Men. They just finished the crossover with Spider-Man with Venom Inc. Uh, they have Venomized coming up in April. And then some of something going on in May, uh, and not to mention a bunch of variant covers. So Marvel's also doing Venom 30th anniversary variant covers on a bunch of the different books. So you might be able to get if you collect those you can go to your local comic store and find out which uh, in this newsarama article will tell you some of them uh that are going to have variant covers with venom on them i probably won't buy those i don't need them i don't you know i love venom and all but i don't want like a random issue of a book i don't really read uh but uh but that's still for those out there who collect those uh this you know newsarama article should tell you what those uh those books are uh, so i'll again put the link down below so not only getting those we're getting a venom event something happening in may we'll probably find out more about it next week because next week on the 31st if you go to your local comic store you can pick up a venom poster called the web of venom and it'll show you the road so far and then it'll also reveal some new thing that they're doing in May and it's being kept under a uh, tight lid right now and then apparently when the movie comes out in the fall in October around that time they're doing something else big with Venom in the comic books and what I'm guessing is Mike Costa who's writing the main book he probably is building towards something to tell with Venom whereas we had Colin Bunn doing like his side miniseries stuff and he's doing Poison X and all those those are all Colin Bunn uh, but 
you have Mike Costa doing the main monthly book and it looks like he's building to something big for when the movie comes out. So yeah, ton of Venom stuff. So good job Bleeding Cool for spotting stuff like that. I'll put a link down to, the, to below to that. I'll, I'll look forward here in a second. Like I said, I don't have it in front of me, but, uh, but yeah, something happening this fall. So we got a lot of Venom stuff to cover this year. Outside the movie, uh, we got comics, and then whenever we're slow on comics, hopefully we'll have more movie news. Uh, but yeah, this is just a ton of stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. So all the links are down below. Check them out, and then comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for being patient with me while I've been going through this uh, technical difficulties phase, but I'm glad I got this video recorded and up to you guys. Let me know what you think of it. As always, thanks for sharing. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you in the future. Peace.